everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new stuff pack coverage of The Sims 4, The Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff. Now, first of all, if you guys watch a lot of my videos, I'm wearing a jacket for the first time in what feels like forever because it's finally cold in Melbourne. So yes, for weather changes. Yes, I'm happy. Now, second of all, I do want to let you guys know that there is a little bit of controversy surrounding this pack. If you guys are kind of out of the loop with that, basically, this is the first pack that requires another pack to get full access to all of its, its features. So you will need The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs if you want to access part of this stuff pack. It comes with a lot of pet clothes, which we are going to go through in this video. So this will be create a sim and create a pet review. And if you guys want to look at my build and buy review, then that's going to be in a separate video as I usually do. And I'll link that in the description down below and somewhere on the screen right now. The other reason why this pack has started a little bit of controversy and conversation is because it has been released not that long after The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs so a lot of players are feeling like a lot of this could have been added to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack. They're kind of questioning why do we have a pack that kind of feels like a bit of a cash grab. I guess my feeling is I don't mind us getting more cats and dogs content in a separate pack. That's fine by me for any successful expansion pack. But I feel like we needed a lot of time before having that pack as an option. You know, we needed to play cats and dogs, get a feel for it, use everything, and then feel like we wanted more before releasing this pack. I guess we're gonna review it and see what we think. Okay, so I have actually already looked at all the creator sim pieces. I accidentally did didn't press record, so now I'm doing it again. So this is a new male hair that we have in this stuff pack. So um, yeah, it's a curly, wavy kind of hairdo. We've been seeing a lot more diverse kinds of hairs in The Sims 4, and yeah, if we put it in the lighter colors, you can definitely see more of that texture. Do I like it? Yeah, I do. I really like this hair. I feel like it's kind of like a just out of bed kind of daddy hairdo. I'm into it, I like it. We don't have any new like sunglasses or hats or traits or anything like that uh, with this pack, but we do have a t-shirt for males. So this is the cat version of the t-shirt. We have the dog version of the t-shirt. A nice kind of animal print there too. Uh, this I think came with kid stuff pack maybe originally, this swatch. So that's a swatch I've seen before, I could be wrong. Uh, and then this is actually my favorite. I love the black, white, and red contrast. I think that's really nice. We do also have a full body outfit that is new. It's the new hamster outfit. So here you go. Here it is. I actually really love the um, zip detail in there. Nice little detail. And excuse me, look at the sim icon down the bottom. Is that not like the scariest sim icon you've ever seen? I feel like that hamster is gonna come and kill me. So that is a little bit creepy. Let's get him out of this suit. I do have to say, I was a little bit surprised that there are no other color swatches because for these suits, we usually get a few color swatches. Uh. Although that was for a game pack. Uh, let's just see, was there any other full suits for stuff packs? This was an expansion pack. Okay, so maybe for a for a stuff pack, that's pretty understandable that we don't get any more swatches. There are no new shorts. These are shorts from Outdoor Retreat that I've just put him in and no new shoes or accessories that I know of. Okay, now we have Jasmine here showing off the adult female pieces or teen to elder pieces rather. There is a new hairdo, so this is it here. Uh, it comes in natural colors. There's a few layers at the back. Uh, I'm definitely getting mullet vibes from this hair. I can't say it's a favorite of mine, but in saying that, I think a lot of players will actually really like it um, to make some more unique sims. So I get it, I get it. And it also comes with some ombre colors in there too. If you want your sim to be a little bit more out there with their hair, that's always a nice feature to get a bit of both. So that is the new hair for females, no new makeup or anything like that. Um, we do have a top that's like the male top, but it does have a pocket on it and it's obviously fitted for females. This does appear to be a base game t-shirt that has got obviously patterns on it. And I have to say, I think this hamster in the pocket is really cute. I'm a bit sad that we didn't get that for the male uh, t-shirt. It has left swatches because it doesn't have a pocket on it, but I feel like it surely wasn't that hard to make that for males too. So. Um, that's a bit sad, but I guess you can put that shirt on a male if you want to anyway. It just won't be as well fitted. 
We have the hamster outfit for females as well. Uh, it takes a while to scroll through. Here it is. There we go. So we have that for females too. Oh. No new shorts that I know of, accessories or shoes. So that is for adults, teens and elders. For kids there are no new hairs, but we do have some new t-shirts and also a onesie. Now this onesie is also going to match your pets. They will have the same onesies available to them and also toddlers. So that's kind of cute. You can have a matching family. Um, so yeah, we've got the animal one. We have this, which I recognize from the topless stuff pack, the imagination animation. This is the same kind of drawings, uh, which I do like. The superhero, uh, which we recognize from topless stuff. We have like a mouse little outfit. This is really, really cute. And I love this as well. Now, was this in Cats and Dogs already? This outfit, was this a pet outfit in Cats and Dogs? I'm not sure, I'll have to go look back at that. Uh, and also some bubbles, which is kind of fun. In terms of t-shirt, this is it. It's got a cute hamster eating a strawberry, adorable, like cat um, being made from these triangles, uh, rainbow, then like those Dalmatian kind of splodges, again, matching the adults. Also those kids clothes are the same for male kids and female kids. They don't actually have anything different um, between those two genders. And then this is the new toddler outfit. So you can see this onesie matches what we just saw for kids. Uh, so your kids and toddlers can match, which is very cute. I love this outfit, adorable. And whilst they don't have any new hairs, they do have these new hats. So that's pretty cute, pretty adorable. Uh, actually really, really, really adorable. <laughs> uh, so that does come in a few different swatches. I think I'm gonna put him in this because it kind of matches and it looks really, really cute. <laughs> no new shoes. Uh, these shoes are from the toddler stuff pack, but they just look cute with that outfit. So I'll leave that. Now moving on to the second part of this review, which is actually create a pet. Uh, we have Lily here showing off the small dog's assets. So we have a new top hat, which I think a lot of us will recognize from base game. Uh, so there's a few different swatches for that and some fun colors. And then in terms of outfits, oh, actually one thing I will point out that was a little bit annoying, um, you can't actually filter this content between the stuff back and cats and dogs. I'm not sure if that's because they were never planning to add uh, another pack with cats and dogs items or if it was just an oversight, but I thought that was kind of um, a little bit annoying. And then these are some t-shirts. This ombre I recognize from either the kids stuff pack or toddlers stuff pack. Uh, so that's a familiar swatch. And then we also have some base game items here. Uh, the superhero kind of outfit, um, day of the dead, was it day of the dead outfits? And yeah, I mean, this is really, really cute. You can have like a business doggy. <laughs> this is a base game dress swatch that has been made for your pet so you and your pet can match if you feel inclined to do so and then we also have the onesie we just saw for toddlers and kids in similar swatches or well, some of them the same swatches very very cute i oh yeah see this was in cats and dogs i don't know if it's a, if that's the same swatch but it's similar Let's just maybe take off the little hat and put you in this because oh my gosh, that looks so cute on a King Charles Spaniel. Now if we move on to big doggies, uh, these are a couple of items that are new. This is the new hat. Again, this suits base game or matches base game Sims hats. Uh, this nightgown is actually the nightgown that Bob Pancakes, a famous Sims character, wears a lot in brown. Uh, Bob pancakes with the red one. So that is the red. And again, we have a few different items here, like suits, gowns in different colors. Um, so a few different swatches. Again, we have the base game dress made to fit larger dogs. That's actually really, really cute. The t-shirt that matches um, the other t-shirts that we've already seen. This has to be my favorite piece. It's a banana suit. Oh my God, I actually love this. This is my favorite thing from the pack. 
I think it's so funny that it's available in like a under ripened version as well. Swatch. This is funny. This is inspired. And I actually happen to love it in the pink. It comes in green. It comes in like a Dalmatian black and white. Uh, blue. The blue is very nice. I mean, who doesn't love a blue banana? And then pink and yellow, my favorite. So that is pretty awesome. And of course, the onesie that we have already seen uh, to go with the rest of the family. Now, if you are into cats, don't worry, your cats also will get some new clothes. This is my favorite. This is the yellow base game dress. I think this looks adorable. Really, really cute. That's probably my favorite for cats. They don't get any new hats. Uh, they get this like superhero cape in a few different swatches and honestly I feel like it looks a bit Dracula in some colorways so you can either go for superhero cat or Dracula cat whatever you prefer so there it is in a few different colorways I like the I like those two colors together the t-shirt we've been seeing with uh, familiar swatches on there superhero swatches now this is a really cute outfit this is the same as the toddler stuff pack B outfit that you can dress toddlers in, which is really, really adorable. So this does come in a few different colorways. And I have to say, I actually really love the blue. I just think the blue is a really nice color. So that is adorable. And then of course, again, we have the onesie that we have been seeing throughout this. All right, so that is the end of the Create a Pet create a sim part of this stuff pack of course we have to keep in mind that we have all of the build and buy and gameplay part of the pack as well so we haven't finished reviewing yet if you guys want to check out that review then i'll link it at the end of this video and in the description down below i've actually tried to record this last summary part of the video three times already I just, in the end, realized I'm really confused by this part of the pack, in all honesty. I just don't really understand why we have so many pet costumes. Me, personally, as a player, I don't dress up my pets that much. My gameplay isn't that focused on my cats and dogs, so I'm not even sure if it was worth the controversy of putting these items in this stuff pack for your pets. I'm definitely more wanting the pet objects that we had so few of in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So that confused me a lot. Furthermore, I don't understand why we have so many items that match the entire family so that your toddlers, children, adults and pets can all wear the same thing. I get that it's funny and like you might want to have a dress and like a gown that matches your sims if you want to have them all match. Like it's kind of cute to have the pets match the sims. But I just feel like this is overkill. Like there's just so many, so much of it. Uh, I just would have preferred normal create a sim assets. There is a ton of recycling of patterns and swatches that we already have in the game. I get that that was so that you could match your pets to your adult sims with the base game stuff, but we're also seeing recycling of patterns used in other stuff packs, like toddler stuff pack. And quite honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I just don't think you should see things right in one stuff pack in another stuff pack. You know, it just feels like it's recycling it a bit much. So I'm confused by that. Honestly, I also feel like the sim items definitely were very basic and underwhelming. The t-shirts were underwhelming. The fact that the males couldn't have one swatch with a pocket with the hamster sticking out of it, that seems like it's a bit rushed. Also for kids, which there is quite an emphasis on in this pack, there's only the onesie and a t-shirt. There's no new hairs or anything. It feels a little like a few corners have been cut. I don't know if I'm right about that, but it's just how I feel. Of course, as always, I do want to say that I appreciate each individual item. I think they are fantastic items. I think they're really nice, but as a whole, I'm not sure about this stuff pack. Anyway, I'm going to review build and buy now. Hopefully it's going to be a lot better than this part of the review and I'll feel a lot better about this stuff pack. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.